Hey, I'm Dr. Hendrickson. In this video, I'm going to be talking about carpal tunnel and things that we do here in our office that helps treat carpal tunnel. Now, first, we'll explain a little bit about what carpal tunnel is. Now, basically, the carpal tunnel is this part right here. That's the where the median nerve and then a lot of ligaments and tendons, they like to go into the hand and innervate, you know, muscles, movement, and feeling in that area. Now, you have issues whenever a connective tissue and inflammation gets stuck in there and causes compression of that nerve. So typically, if you're on your computer all day typing, you got pressure right here, or you're moving like a lot of like trauma, micro trauma onto the wrist, things like that can cause the body to produce connective tissue and inflammation. And usually those things, when they get stuck in there, it causes, there's no where to go so this goes numb and also you'll notice that the muscles on your hand the the thanar and the hyperthanar muscle one of them or both of them will atrophy they'll look smaller because of paralysis or entrapment of that median nerve now there are surgery options when it comes to carpal tunnel uh, what they'll do is they'll cut open that area right there and then they'll cut the transverse ligament to help give some relief and some like decompression off of that nerve. Sometimes that does grow back, the connective issue starts to form again, because again, there was another bit of trauma into that wrist. So that can come back. So hopefully that helps kind of better understand a little bit more about what carpal tunnel is. Next, I'm gonna show you guys some exercise you can do at home, it helps it out. And also some things we do here that really helps with carpal tunnel. All right, so before I get into the stuff that we do in here to treat carpal tunnel, here are a few exercises that you can do at home to help stretch and help break up anything that's in that median nerve area. One of them is pretty simple, just moving our wrist back and forth just like that, moving our head, swinging it here, stretching the extensor muscles like in here, these ones right here, just doing that. Thumb, right there. Now for the carpals, that main issue right there, flip over our hand just like that and move our neck away from it. You'll definitely feel that stretch in that median nerve right here. Now we're gonna move our head back and forth just like that. That's gonna help break up anything that's in there and get it moving a little better. And you know, hopefully that helps you out. All right, guys, so in our office, what we do to help treat carpal tunnel issues, we, we do something called Grostin the first, and we also do ultrasound. Now, Grostin in itself helps break up and actually relax muscle tissue, things like that. We use Grostin for a number of different things in our office, but particularly for carpal tunnel issues, it helps break up any tissue and helps relax muscles, things like that, in here to help promote circulation, blood flow, and help decompress that median nerve without having to cut it with surgery. So I'm gonna demonstrate on myself a little bit. Just a regular water-based lubricant. Over here, we're gonna do the top of the hand as well. So we're getting all these muscles, the flexor muscles and the extensor muscles. Now this guy here would probably work best because it's got that curve here. You can fit in there. So you see when I do this, you can actually see that tendon, that ligament pop up, things like that. Now we wanna break up anything that might be in there as well. Help promote some healing and massage those uh, atrophied muscles in the hand as well. So we start here. Going down through here. Moving the wrist with it. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but I'm bringing here. That noise of like scraping sounds like sandpaper. That's connective tissue in there. Now it's going to get a little red. That's okay. No, but we're just trying to work out everything in here, trying to loosen up these muscles and everything like that. So the carpal tunnel area is right here. And what we're going to do is break that stuff up right there, going around in here. Make a fist, relax the fist. I'm really, I'm not going back and forth. What I'm doing is I'm going here, loosening up, and then pushing through, right in there. There we go. This should help loosen up everything, make it start feeling a little better. Now, 
Other than that, what we also use and do is uh, we use ultrasound treatment. Now, this one right here is one we use specifically for carpal tunnel issues. It's about one to two megahertz, so it penetrates in here. So what this also does, it helps promote healing, anti-inflammatory, and it also really gets in there. And with those sound waves, it actually breaks up the scar tissue or connective tissue that'd be causing the numbness, tingling, and the paralysis in that hand. So. It's relatively perfectly safe. I can even do it on myself in the office, but you definitely should go to a professional and get it done. So we'll just do medium heat there. Now you'll start feeling it. It'll start feeling warm. It'll start getting a little warmer. And then, you know, it might tingle a little bit, but what it's doing is it's actually helping promote healing. It's breaking up any of that, those adhesions or that connective tissue that's in here. And helping to heal that carpal tunnel issue. Our treatments in our office, when we do this, it really helps a lot of patients. And sometimes I even just let the patient, you know, when they're interested, let them just like, all right, take it and just small little lines right here. Can't mess it up too bad. And that's about 10, 15 minutes of doing that as well. And then, you know, a few treatments of that and a lot of people get better really quick. So there's a few things that we do for carpal tunnel. If you guys have any other things, thoughts, and uh, questions or different other treatments you guys want to see, let me know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And please come back and see another video. And before then, make sure you stay active and healthy.